From Fox 5 New York, this is Good Day New York. Meanwhile, child tax credits have been popping up in bank accounts for a couple of months now. And while the extra cash for parents is great, many financial experts are advising that they set money aside for higher education very quickly. And joining us now to explain is Vivian Sai, chair of the College Savings Foundation. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning. Happy to be here. All right, Vivian. So we're getting money from the government if you have kids. What do we need to be doing with that? Is that directly being put aside just for kids' college tuition? You know, that's what we're seeing. We're seeing more of that. Um, the CSF, we produce an annual survey, and we just got our findings back last week. And we learned that 92% of the parents we surveyed across the country are in fact using part, if not all, of that monthly child tax credit um, advance to put away towards their children's futures. And predominantly using them, putting, using them for college savings accounts called 529 plans, mm -hmm. um, setting it aside, not to be touched until future education. Now, it's definitely a good thing that you can do to set it aside to save that money, but uh, is that going to cover college tuition? Because say you have a toddler right now, what can you expect college to be when they're ready to go to school? A lot more than the, the CTC for sure. Um, what we like to see people do um, is put away as much as they can early and often. And over that period of time, you know, Today, this year, your average public university uh, four-year tuition is going to cost somewhere around $25,000. So anything that a parent can put away now will mean less that will need to be taken out in student debt later. Right. So, I mean, you, you figure in 10 years, what would that college tuition be? I don't know what the, the rate is that it goes up, Vivian, but... I'm sure it's not good. I mean, how much should parents and when should parents start saving? Because I thought I was on the ball with my kids. You know, I started when they were born, putting some money away yearly for them. It was not enough. I needed mm. to rob a bank at the end of their college <laughs> uh, experience. I can relate. I have two in college right now. And so, again, the story is as much as one can and certainly in the last year year and a half we have seen parents who were unemployed or at some yeah. um, put at risk with regards to their family economics and so what kids have been doing is putting their own money away we saw this in our annual young people survey that came out in April of this year. We see an uptick in kids working. Again, I see that with my own sons who worked hard all summer to put money into their um, college spending account. Hmm. So, you know, I don't think that the trend is gonna reverse its, t its um, direction anytime soon. So really, um, and I wish I knew how much college was gonna be in 10 years, we see college tuition inflation rates in and around the three, four percent um, really depends on what kind of school your child is going to. Right. But early and often in a 529 plan or in a dedicated account uh, for your future loved one is what we recommend. So what, what are the advantages of using these child tax credits? The advantages are, the fact is, uh, these CTT funds are in fact tax credits against your future, um, shall we call it, obligation. They come in tax-free, and then you can use them and put them directly into one of your 529 plans. And New York, the tri-state area, in fact, has really attractive um, tax benefits for those who are investing in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut 529 plans. You can put those funds away, receive a tax deduction in many cases, and then see those funds grow over the years um, from now until your child goes off to college. Now, Vivian, I mean, this may be a silly question, but what happens if you put this away year after year, your kid turns 18, they're like, I just want to be a TikTok star or, um, you know, just be famous on Instagram, because that, that's a legitimate yes, thing. Yes, and, and kids are seeing that Very they're... legitimate. What happens to all that money? Yeah, they don't have to do it. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And the point is, these funds will never 
lose their status, they will never expire. So Junior could decide to spend 10, 20 years being that Instagram star and then decide they want to go to law school um, in their 30s and mm. still tap into the 529 plan. Or you as the account owner can move it to another child, another family member. You yourself can decide to go to chef school, um, golf school. There are several other types of educational institutions at which you can use Oh, that's right. good. That's anyway, she's terrific. <laughs> yeah. Vivian Tsai, thank you so much. She is chair of the College Savings Foundation. I like that. Put it Very away. good information. <laughs>